chapter 29, from verse 12. Then uh, you will call upon me and come and pray to me. And I'll reason to you. Then the Bible continues to say, you will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, then what will I do? I'll be found by you, declares the Lord. And I'll bring you back from captivity. I'll gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you, declares the Lord. And I'll bring you back to the place from which I carried you into exile. That is a good example of restoration. Mungu anasema ya kwamba, nanyi mutakuja kwangu na mutanitafuta na mioyo yenu yote. Saa hiyo, ni urejesho munatafuta. Neno lingine ambaro tunaweza kuliangalia, uh, ambaro pia, maybe linaweza kutusaidia ku, ku break down um, na kuerewa restoration in the same book of Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 6, uh, ni neno ambaro huwa tunaritumia la backsliding. Uh, the Bible says, um, Therefore a lion from the forest will attack them. A wolf from the desert will lavish them. A leopard will lie in wait near their towns to tear to pieces any who venture out. For their rebellion is great and their backslidings are many. So we see the dangers of backsliding. But I want you to get this word here. For their rebellion is greater and their backslidings are many. So the backsliding up is going to S. So in a jarib kuleta lead a word in plural. Ya kwamba kurudi nyuma kwao. If you read the book of Galatians chapter 6 and verse 1. Let's be able to connect this with Galatians 6 part two, verse 1. Because there is a way we look at backsliding. Brothers, if someone is caught in a sin. You who are spiritual should restore him gently. But watch yourself, or you also may be tempted. So the Bible says that here, if a brother uh, or if someone is caught in a sin, the spiritual people are supposed to restore such person gently. It's about restoring somebody who has fallen from sin. And that is what we call backsliding. But you see, Many times when we are looking at backsliding as believers or as a church, we look at the people who have completely gone back to the world. We look at a backslider as someone who has forsaken Christ uh, and they have gone back to their old way of life. Kamo walikuwa na kunywa pombe, kamo walikuwa na fanya usherati, hao sasa tunasema alirudi nyuma. But Jeremiah is speaking about, Jeremiah 5, 6, uh, he is talking about another kind of backsliding. For their rebellion is greater and their backslidings are many. What does the Bible refer to many backslidings? This is an example I can give to you. When I received Christ, uh, the day I was born again, I decided to follow Christ. Uh, there are things I did away with them. Nikasema nimewachana na mambo haya ulimwengu ya dunia na nimempatia Yesu maisha yangu. Na nikaanza safari. Nikaanza kuchukua hatua ya kuomba, ya kufunga, ya kutoa fungu la kumi, ya kwenda kufanya evangelism. Nikachukua hatua nyingi. So baada ya kuokoka Mutu anaweza kuwa amechukua hatua hata hamsini. Baada ya kuokoka, amechukua hatua hamsini. Huyu mtu ambaye amechukua hatua hamsini, anaweza kulegeza hatua tano. So huyu mtu wakilegeza hatua tano, hawezi kusema ambe backslide. Bado hajarudi misri. Lakini kupitia macho ya mungu, mungu anasema kupitia jeremaya, their backslidings are many. That God is saying, uh, I see alias in their eyes where they are backslidden. And this is where we now need restoration. You look at your life 
and you see the journey of your faith from when you are born again, you see the territories that God gave to you, and then you look at your life and see the territories you may have lost, the areas you may have backslidden. Praise the name of the living God. That means uh, before the eyes of God, you could be a backslider, but I am still preaching. I'm still having impact in the ministry. But when God looks at me, there are many backslidings in my life. Praise the name of the living God. But you see, the church does not refer me as a backslider. The church refers uh, backsliders as only people who have gone back to the world. But the church uh, does not refer to backsliders who are still in the church. They are doing the work of the ministry. They are used of God, but they are backslidden. What do you call them? Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. People, when God is looking at them, God is saying, from when you gave your life to me, you had made 50 steps. But today when I look at you, you have lost 10 of them. So you still have the 40, but you have lost the 10. Praise the name of the living God. Uh, can you identify an area that God had given unto you? But today, that territory, slowly by slowly, you lost it. Praise the name of the living God. But you see the promise of the word of God in Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 22. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 22. He promises to cure us. Return, faithless people. I'll cure you of backsliding. Yes, we will come to you. For you are the Lord, our God. So the restoration takes place uh, after the healing. The restoration takes place uh, after discovering uh, the areas uh, you are backslidden. Watch any ways kusema hivi. When we are looking at recovering the lost territories, uh, we need to look at these um, uh, uh, territories, number one, individually. As an individual. As a person. As a person, I have been, my, I've been having my personal journey, my personal walk with God. It's very important for me to look into my life. And I look at that personal journey with God and see the areas that God had given me, the areas I was excelling in my faith. But today, I have lost those territories. That is why you hear so many people living in their history. Wanakwambia unajua zamani, unajua zamani, unajua zamani, unajua ni kuanga hivi, unajua ni kuanafanya hivi. Lakini siku ya leo haifanyiki. Nataka ni kuambie, kuna ugonjwa unaitua backsliding. Pengine kuna wakati uliku unajitua sana kusoma neno. And you could be able to find time for meditation. And you could hear God speaking to you. You had cross fellowship and intimacy with the Holy Spirit. But today that intimacy is not there. Praise the name of the living God. What have you lost? Which area have you lost? When we are talking about um, uh, Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 6. If you go back, Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 6, the Bible says, uh, Therefore a lion from the forest will attack them. A wolf from the desert will lavish them. A leopard will lie wait near the towns to tear to pieces. Any who venture out, for their, ba for their rebellion is great and their backsliding is many. You can connect this portion of scripture with uh, Exodus chapter 23 from verse 29. The Bible says, but I will, drive, I will not drive them out in a single year because the land would be desolate, would become desolate. And the wild animals, too numerous for you. Why are these wild, wild animals too, too numerous for you? Little by little, I will drive them out 
before you until you have increased enough to take possession of the land. And then the Bible says that I will establish your borders from the Red Sea to the Sea of the Philistines and from the desert to the river. I will hand over to you the people who live in the land and will drive them out before you. This is how God works in our lives. God set divine boundaries for our lives from the minute you are born. God tells Jeremiah, before you are conceived in your mother Zumba, I ordained you to be a prophet to the nations. That means uh, I set your divine boundaries. I determined how far you'll be able to go in this life. I deposited the gifts, uh, the talents, uh, the abilities that you need uh, to fulfill that mandate in you. Praise the name of the living God. So from the day you are born, God set divine boundaries. Praise the name of the living God. Mungu aliamua maisha yangu yanaweza kufika wapi kutoka wakati nilizaliwa. Isaiah 46 verse 10, the Bible says, I make known the end from the beginning, from ancient times, what is still to come. I say, my purpose will stand and I'll do all that I please. So, mungu anaditamaini muisho wako. Ukiwa muanzo. Mungu anasema, nitaku. and that is why some of us, even when we were born again, God started speaking and showing us the great and mighty things that you do in our lives. Some of us, we thought, it's going to happen in a year. It's going to happen in two years. It's going to happen in three years. That day years down the line, I am still pressing on. Mungu akasema, sita wapatia inchi kwa mwaka moja. Lakini mungu akasema, what is the condition? Nita wapatia kidogo, kidogo. Hata mtakapo ongezeka. There is a way you need to increase to take possession of the land. Ukiangaria Jeremiah 5-6. Jeremiah ameanza kusema, kuna wanyama watakuja. Uh, therefore, a lion from the forest will attack them. A wolf from the desert will ravage them. A leopard will lie in wait near their towns. Yani kumanisha, when you backslide, na unaanza kuachiria the territories that God has given to you, these now wild animals, uh, they are referred uh, to as demonic forces. Dio Yesu mwenyewe nae akasema, when an evil spirit leaves a man, this evil spirit goes to the dry places. But it says, let me try and go back to the house I left. Then that evil spirit comes. It comes back to the person to see if the person is still holding onto the territory. And the demon finds the house is swept clean, but there is no one who is occupying. So the demon says, I was alone here, and I was chased out. I cannot go back alone. Jesus said, this demon will go and look for seven more demons. Inaenda inatafuta mapepo wengine chafu kuiriko. Inawambia, kuna mahali niritolewa. Na sasa mahali niritolewa, hakuna mutu. Ha? Mwenye alinitoa hajaweza kuwakiupai. Jo! Yesu wakasema, hali ya ule mtu itakuwa mbaya kuliko vile ilivyo kuwa mwanzo. Praise the name of the living God. Do you know as a church, there are territories we have lost. Today we are called Pentecostals without a Pentecostal experience. So many people in the Pentecostal church without a Pentecostal experience, they are not filled with the Holy Spirit. Where are the gifts of the Holy Spirit? This is a territory that the church, the first church, possess this territory of miracles, genuine miracles, signs and wonders, the gifts of the Holy Spirit were at work in the first church. Where are they today? As much as the Bible says, the glory of this latter church will be greater than of the former. Before we go for the glory of this latter church, we need to recover the territory we have lost from the first church. That is why Habakkuk cried and said, Oh Lord, we have heard of your fame. And we stand in awe. 
in the midst of years. Revive your works, O oh God. Habakkuk was saying, O oh God, why don't you restore your deeds? Because we have heard. So that means Habakkuk is saying, this is not a new experience. It was there. Praise the name of the living God. Some of us, I think the last revival we have experienced is the revivals of the 90s. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Those who have been born again, maybe the last few years, they are sons of Ichabod. They, 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 they came when the glory had left. Praise the name of the living God. And you know, there are some people when they are seeking for these things, uh, they may be thinking that we are seeking them for the first time. No. There was a time the glory was there. But after Ichabod, the glory left. We are supposed to seek for restoration. These gifts were here in the church. These signs and wonders were in the church. Praise the name of the living God. But we lost the territory. The lion, the leopard, the wolf is now occupying the territory. We need God. To give us grace to take back the territories that we have lost uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, and that is why we tell God like Habakkuk, oh God, uh, remember mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. In love. Because mercy triumphs uh, over judgment. Uh. Can somebody lift your right hand and say, oh Lord, uh, remember mercy. Mercy upon my life. Uh, mercy upon the church. Uh, I plead for mercy. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So you look at yourself as an individual, and you look at the territories that you have lost. You look at your family, the territories that you have lost. Some of the territories in your family were lost before you were born. You found a divided family. Maybe some of us, we found the family when it was working. But in our time, we saw the families breaking down, divisions, bitterness, animosity, witchcraft among the family members. Praise the name of the living God. We need to recover the lost territories. We need to recover the lost territories of the church. Praise the name of the living God. We need the true God in the church, in the mighty name of Jesus. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. We need the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We need true signs, miracles, and wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Then you go to tell it all your restoration. There are times Nakuru was known as a place people would gather for great meetings, remember the times of people like Bishop Mwangi, the late Bishop Mwangi, a father in this city. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Uh, gathering people in this stadium, uh, signs, uh, miracles happening. Tell your restoration. Praise the name of the living God. Remember the meetings in Sogonoi. People traveling from all over the country. It's not that there were beautiful cathedrals, but the presence of God was there. Praise the name of the living God. There was a move of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. I remember the move on conventions uh, when we were in Crisco Church. I know they are still there. But it's the fire still burning. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. We need divine restoration, territorial restoration. Praise the name of the living God. Uh, we need uh, 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 to pray for restoration because God has given us a burden for Europe, for America. When you go to Europe, uh, you see churches that are deserted, territories that are lost. You know, sometimes we may be speaking of the church uh, as if it is a nobody's business uh, when the church is being bought to become a mosque, to become a brothel, uh, to become a circus place of circus. Uh, so even some churches have been turned into places of uh, 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 housing and accommodation. But what does the owner of the church feel? These are lost territories. They need to be recovered. Praise the name of the living God. When you see cathedrals in, in different streets uh, without people, 
These are territories. These are churches that were full of people, that were full of life. They were vibrant. They are lost territories. Praise the name of the living God. So we are not just praying to God to make it happen. It's not the first time. Huh? Before we tell God we need to uh, 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 get new territories, we need to tell God, help us to recover the ones uh, that we have lost uh, around the ears. Praise the name of the living God. Go to America. Huh? A nation that was built by people who had faith in God. In God we trust. They wrote in their money. And within a very short time, they were able to rise and become an unforbidable nation, formidable nation, a superpower. But look, today, they have forsaken God. These are the territories we need to tell God. Help us to see America being restored to a place of spirituality, to see Europe restored to a place of glorifying God. Nations that send missionaries to every corner of the world. Praise the name of the living God. Today, they need to recover the territories they have lost. This restoration is not just for you as an individual, but it must begin with you as an individual as you go to the family, as you look at the church and see the territories that we have lost as a church. Praise the name of the living God. If Peter or Paul today came in our service, huh, how would they feel when they see the way we conduct our services? Are they going to rejoice that the work that they left huh, the way they died as Matthias, that the work they sacrificed for, that work is still going on. With the same power, with the same zeal, they will be surprised that we have lost the territories they had gained. Praise the name of the living God. They will tell you, this territory we had gained it in our time. Yeah? But in our time, it's a religious shell whereby people can gather and perform religious rituals without the life of God, without the power of God. Praise the name of the living God. But I want to decree and declare this is a season uh, that God uh, will have mercy upon us. Uh, oh God, uh, he'll heal us uh, our backsliding. Uh. Backsliding is a sickness. Uh. Oh, we are suffering uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, from backsliding. Uh. We need to acknowledge uh, and tell the Lord uh, we are suffering uh, from backsliding. Uh. Some of us have become faithless. Uh. We had a lot of faith uh, that God is going to use us, uh, that God is going to do great and mighty things, uh, but we have become faithless uh, around the ears. Uh. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, can we tell God, uh, let's tell us, uh, heal our backslidings uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you are backsliding uh, in the area of prayer, in your intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Uh, some of you, you are very faithful in your giving, uh, in your tithing. Uh, today, you are a backslider in that area, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh my God, uh, where have you backslidden? Uh, tell God, uh, heal me of my backsliding. Uh, I desire to be restored uh, in the mighty the name of Jesus, uh, I plead for your mercy. I plead for your forgiveness. Uh, forgive me, Lord, uh, of my backsliding. Uh, many a time we just look at the people who have gone back to the world uh, as backsliders. Uh, but I can tell you, that is the last step uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, some of you, you are halfway in your backsliding. Uh, tell God, uh, I put a stop uh, into my backsliding. Uh, I am not going back to Egypt uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, because if you don't put a stop, uh, if you don't realize uh, that you are losing your prayer life, uh, if you don't realize uh, that you are losing your integrity, if you don't realize uh, that you are losing your discipline uh, in fasting and prayer, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, if you don't realize uh, that you are losing your commitment, uh, you are on your way back to the world, uh, you are on your way back to Egypt, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. What uh, 
watakwambia si kurudi nyuma kwa siku moja nilianza kuwa mvivu nilianza kuwa mlegevu nilianza na kuachilia neno nikaacha maombi nikaacha kufunga nikaacha kwenda kanisa nikaanza kuzoea mambo ya dunia na nikajipata nimerudi misri reka baganda bashanda reka maganda rima reka maganda bashanda Ningetaka kusoma mistari miwili ya Biblia. Ningetaka tusome a portion of scripture in the book of Revelation chapter 3 verse 14. Na inasema to the angel, to the angel of the church in the Diokia, light. These are the words of the amen, the faithful, the true witness, the ruler of God's creation. I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. Then the Bible says, So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. You say, I am rich. I have acquired wealth. I do not need a thing. These are some of the churches today can say that I am rich, I have acquired wealth, I do not need a thing. But you do not realize that you are leched. You are pitiful, you are poor, you are blind, you are naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in fire so you can become rich and white cross to wear so you can cover your shameful nakedness and salve to put on your eyes so you can see. Those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. So be honest and repent. Hili ni kanisa ambalo lilikuwa linajigamba kuna mambo tuko nayo lakini Mungu akasema you don't know your true state Siku ya leo kanisa kuna mambo tunaweza kusema tuko nayo But what is the true state of the church I can tell you the true state of, our, of the church we are in a backslidden state We need to come out of our many backslidings as individuals, as a body of Christ, the territorial church, we need to look at ourselves critically. And the Bible says, we repent. There is a hate from which we are fallen from. May God open our eyes that we may see the alias, the church, have backslidden. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because this is one of the ways the enemy has brought deception in the church. I have said in terms of numbers, America is leading. In terms of percentages of Christians. But look at what is happening. Praise the name of the living God. So we are not just supposed to look at the numbers. And the people who call themselves Christians. Because many of them are backslidden. Even in Africa, we are quite a good percent, over 60%. But you'll be surprised to look at the percentages of Christians denominationally. Because by numbers, Catholic is the biggest in terms of numbers of Christians in Africa, it is only in places, some few places uh, where the Pentecostal churches, are, are, in terms of the Pentecostals are growing in numbers, but currently, that is where we are. That means we could be having so many people in the church, but what is the quality of our faith? What is the quality of the believers? They are in a backslidden state. Huh? Na kwa hivyo tunaweza danganyika ya kwamba hata mahali tunaonekana kama tumejaa kanisa kama hili. Lakini hali ya imani yetu iko namna gani? Kiwango chetu cha kutembea na Mungu kiko wapi? Tusijadanganyike tu na kuona tu wingi wa watu. But the quality of the believers who are in the church. Praise the name of the living God. 
Because there are so many people today in the church and there is nothing that they cannot do. Hakuna kitu ambacho hawawezi kufanya. But they call them believers. Wengine hata ni wahubiri. Tunasimama katika madhabahu tunahubiri. But we are backslidden. Tulirudi nyuma ndio tulikuwa na mwito. Ndio wakati tulikuwa pengine ina humble beginnings. Tulimpenda Mungu. Lakini wakati tulipafika kuinuliwa na kubarikiwa tukawa walevi. Tukawa wazinzi na bado tuasimama katika madhabahu. We are having a backslidden church. We need restoration. We need God's mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Many of the so-called believers, uh, they are not right with God. They are not walking right. They have lost their ground. We need to plead with God. Uh, may God restore the quality in the mighty name of Jesus uh, of the church. Uh, not just the quantity in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we need quality, not just quantity in the name of Jesus. Koriba shanda basata, reka baganda bashanda ba. We have lost many territories, uh, the territory of holiness, uh, reka maganda, the territory of prayer, the territory of love, uh, the territory of unity, the territory of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, uh, the territory of the power of God. Uh,